just a titch over 7,600 pounds and mightily well kept. A 24.5 CKTS Eagle HT over here at Advantage One RV Brokers consignment sister store to Halet RV, which is just down the street one mile to the west. And folks, you are in for a treat. You are not inheriting someone else's problems. You're just inheriting a very nicely kept one owner RV. And inside this camper is clean, dressed, and pressed. It looks good. I haven't been able to locate dings, defects, blemishes, scars, scabs, or otherwise. Everything looking good in here. That good lighting package. Jake always uses those high intensity lights and lots of them. Really brightens it up in here. The lighter fabric package also helps. I, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember. This is called like linen or cashmere or something like that. But I love the, the naming conventions used in the RV industry. Like they would call something like this like wheatgrass. Like I... <laughs> Like, I don't think this is called wheatgrass, but you can seriously just imagine that being the name of a decor like this. Anyway, sorry, I got off topic again. Uh, it's a shorter couples camper, easier towing, but it has good guest capacity. We can open up the sofa and see. That's a trifold with, uh, you know, pretty decent space if you do have someone over for a night or an extended weekend. You should be able to make that work. Both of the side stands have household outlets uh, on the face of them, by the way. It's something that you're just not easily able to see from here because it's kind of dark on dark. They did an accent color there. Um, you might be able to notice, too, that all of the windows open for airflow. If I get closer, you can see the center beam behind those shades. But the shades are really doing a good job of keeping the sunshine out of here because it's already hot enough in this thing. I am sweating to the oldies, basically, right now. Now, our master control center... All your switches and stuff, if you look through that glass pane, it's actually kind of hidden up there. It's a little bit out of sight, out of mind. Apologies if you were briefly blinded by my forehead in that reflection over there. A little handy remote control, too, for things like our uh, slides, awning, some of our exterior lighting. There's a lot of different good stuff that goes into that. Now, over here above the dining arrangement, which is all hardwood fascia, by the way, just a little bit nicer stuff Jayco's tend to, you know, prone to using. Um, there's a uh, dimmer switch lighting. And this was one of the first times you started to see that in the Jayco series, and now it's like all over the place. Eagle kind of became like the uh, the modern proving testing grounds for a lot of things. And as you might have noticed, that uh, can open up and extend. I call it a destination dining desk. And when we get below the front master bed, you'll actually see that there are two uh, fold-away guest chairs stored in there as well. The uh, entertainment over here, we'll open that up in just a second. But even without swinging the TV out... It's easy to view, whether you're in the kitchen or on the sofa or at the dining. And then if you need to pivot it around for easier viewing, you can do that as well. See that big stainless sink inset into the countertop right there with that pull-out sprayer faucet? That is an 8 cubic foot two-way fridge. Uh, this is made before the 12-volt revolution had uh, taken place in the RV business. And up top here, we start to see our kitchen cabinet storage capacity. Actually, we're going to start up top here. Something I think I've failed to mention previously is that this uh, does have the 15,000 BTU Whisper Air System centralized through the RV. And if you don't see the square, then you won't hear the air. They are just significantly quieter than a non-baffled air system. All of the cabinetry has hardwood cabinet door frames. Overhead doors have metallic struts, which is really, really nice. So you don't got to juggle it open with your head. Especially when you don't have hair like me. I have gashes in my for like my head all the time. You don't realize how much your hair protects you from stuff like that until you don't have it. That being said, it's kind of nice not having hair because, you know, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, shirt, pants, brush my teeth, door. I mean, there's just nothing that it, you know, I don't have to get around. It's just done. <laughs> I rolled out of bed like this. <laughs> Down below the stove, large kind of pots and pan storage. Not to be outdone by a pair of really big oversized drawers over here around the, uh, uh, you know, bend of the kitchen counter. What's nice though is those big drawers, you can see they're not fighting for space like with some other drawers. There's no conflicts there. Instead, they just made the huge whole countertop chunk under the sink a wide open space. That is begging for an oversized wastebasket in, in my view. Now over here, they didn't want to waste anything, but uh, they did utilize a, a portion of that kind of countertop corner right there. Uh, that is your converter box, by the way. That's where, uh, you know, your fuses and things are. But I don't want to forget the fact that you also have your little, uh, you know, entertainment storage area here. That's a uh, Bluetooth DVD stereo unit. And then there's obviously, you know, that wide open shelf. If you want to upgrade to like Blu-ray kind of thing, there's the, the uh, drop-down drawbridge door. There's the shelf above that. 
plus the TV you can see swings out. Uh, you know, there's a big chunk of space back there. And whether you're going to use that for additional pantry space or if you're just going to use it to, like, you know, store some movies or something like that, there's no one way that you have to use these things. But they have made sure that you have the ability to do whatever you want with it. Now, on our way up the stairs, there's this handy little viewing window right here. It's just kind of a nice way to let some extra light in, although it obviously has a, uh, a serious blackout shade as well. And the slide up in the bedroom where our storage is located actually goes into the hallway too. And you see this through a lot of the Eagle HT fifth wheel series, but I really want to make sure you point out because this isn't actually located directly in the bathroom, but I think this is your primary bathroom linen storage right here. You want to make sure you don't miss that. As we uh, come around the corner into the dual entry bed and bath, a few things. Up top here, this has like a rain blocker vent fan, and they're still doing something like this today. They've just uh, swapped over to the Max Air variety. But look at the thickness of the roof construction, plus it goes up another inch or two above this uh, housing right here. But that is one of the reasons Eagles have a better hot cold camp proven tested rating than most other things in this class, because they have bigger, thicker, heavier construction. Jayco is almost never the lightest weight and least expensive option. Uh, you know, that that's not they're they're always looking to be more of a uh, a premier brand, upscale in some way, shape, or form, you know. Nice radius shower around the corner here. Let me get this door out of the way so we can check that out along with our porcelain foot flush stool. And there is plenty of room here. Now the entire upper deck, including the floor to ceiling in the shower, is six and a half feet tall. So if you're big like me, you should not have problems in here. As I back up past that sliding privacy door, by the way, down here, you'll see when we get up on the roof, there's roof solar prep, but that's where your charge controller would be mounted should you choose to add some solar stuff to it. And the previous owners added that little TV up there on the swing arm bracket, and they have it actually articulating down to face toward your head, so you're not going to crank your neck in the evenings. Um, the uh, little cabinets on either side of the bed... They are not um, hanging storage. They're not quite tall enough. But one of the things I like, if you notice, they have rounded edges, so they're not going to jab you in the night if you roll over. Very CPAP-friendly side stands uh, as well. And actually, I think we already kind of peeked under the bed. I probably spliced that footage in earlier. As we uh, work our way around here, though, that closet slide that we talked about, it includes that handy uh, breeze-through window right there. It lets some extra light and airflow into this room. And that is, again, one of those Jayco doing Jayco things that I, I'm just shocked most brands haven't caught on to yet. Now, remember that left-hand door, that's kind of your bathroom, like, linen cabinet space. Although, you could use that for extra dresser space if need be. But the uh, two double mirror doors that we have open right there, that will be the majority of your hanging space. Now, you see that you do have a bedroom privacy door right here. It actually latches shut. And you see that little silver tip on there. This has a sensor on it. That slide will not operate unless that door is locked open so that you don't accidentally crush the bejeebies out of that door and land yourself a nice little appointment at the repair shop. Down here in the pass-through, we'll get a better look at some of those accessories that are going with the camper on the uh, uh, other side over there when we get to that other side. But I wanted to show you the rubberized flooring here like you'd find in the uh, garage of a big seismic full-timer fifth-wheel toy hauler from Jayco. Also some handy TV hookups over there. Now the folks seem to be really on top of their preventative care maintenance and upkeep. Like you see the uh, rubber seal conditioner spray over here. Uh, you can see how they uh, had utilized some of the little kind of bug screens, the mud dauber screens on our furnace and water heater exhaust, making sure we keep the bugs out of there. I'm telling you guys, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and it really shows that these people were on top of it. When you start looking at the glossy gleam uh, on the uh, skin that's still present, the skin, the decals, that stuff's not all faded. And I'm actually really glad we had the slide out or uh, and uh, under the awning open right now. Let me try again. Holy cow. I'm really glad that we have the slide open under the awning right now. There we go. Because you can see that that awning dwarfs the slide. There's still plenty of room over there for your picnic tables and chairs and all that good stuff. Uh, this has the frameless window option applied to it in the year that this was built, obviously, as well as the uh, extra large Moride shock dampening pin box. This is a shorter fifth wheel with an enhanced towing package. Like you've got that shock dampening pin box and matching Moride suspension system on here. So, I mean, if, if you really want to do some high mileage towing and going, but you don't want a big intimidating rig behind you, but you still want some good living space when you get there, well, this one does all of those things, actually, which is all pretty cool. 
Uh, power front leveling jacks, power rear stabilizers. Auto leveling has since taken over in Eagle HTs, but it just wasn't as common when this was built. You'll see we've got a simple side mount solar prep plug here. We'll get on the roof so you can see that area for yourself in just a minute. Over here on the other side of that passer, as promised, take a look at the little accessories. There's a the little blue coily sprayer hose. You can see the sewer hose centipede kind of holder job there, as well as some Lynx leveling blocks. Always a fan favorite feature. Also, this is kind of the predecessor to the uh, modern Eagle docking station. It's just kind of a simple water cable dock. But you know what? It gets the job done well. Now, we're going to take a knee here real quick and look under the uh, skirt line. All you're really going to see is just the enclosed underbelly. But Eagles are, even in the HTs, and have been 0 to 100 degree rated for many, many seasons now. And as far as I can tell, it looks like this RV was built with every option that was really available on the Eagle HT 24.5 CKTS the year this was produced. Like the frameless windows, the pin box, there's the backup camera already installed up there. And this was, uh, Eagle HT was the first series of fifth wheel to include a factory standard towing hitch with towing safety chain hooks and four-way wiring harness, uh, again, from the factory level. So that has a 300 pound uh, vertical load rating and a 3,000 pound horizontal tow rating, which should be more than enough for like a little cargo trailer or boat or uh, you know a little cargo pod, something uh, along those lines. This was made before those more ride fold out stable steps really became super duper popular. But the good news is the door is big enough and the structure is there. Uh, if you want to go ahead and upgrade to a set of those, we can assist you with that just down the street at Halid RV. The awning looks good. The roof membrane looks good. The roof fixtures, the seals, the everything. They all look good. They look better than I do in the mirror in the morning. I'll say that much for sure. This is, everything up here looks exactly the way it should. I don't see where you're inheriting someone's problems. And there's a look at that kind of rain protected bathroom vent cover that I told you about. And over here again, uh, remember it's side mount solar prepped but there is also that roof solar prep right there. Now you can see these little screws right here. What happened is somebody must have added like a max air vent cover above this. And I don't know if maybe a tree branch or something hit it and it maybe it only damaged the cover, but it didn't actually damage anything on the RV itself. Or they just took it off or hadn't replaced it. I don't know, but they had something installed there. It's been removed, but what's left is still all of the original factory stuff. So it's not like, you know, a damaged thing is being left in its place. Everything looks fine. So give us a call. We do it all. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.